Hi, I'm Dan Siskin, and welcome to episode 7 of Brickmania TV. Um, today's feature is going to be on the IS-2 tank, but before we get into that, uh, I just want to make a couple of mentions that uh, first you should watch this all the way to through to the end. Even if you get bored, fast forward to the end. There's always some good material there, and uh, we're going to be uh, possibly putting some specials on there. Um, also, we're going to, you know, we have some new releases today. Um, but before we get to all that, I am going to talk about, well, first I'm going to do some shout outs. Uh, first is to uh, Tom Alfin for sending me his book, The Lego Architect. Um, one of my models was featured in the book, and Tom was nice enough to send it to me. Uh, thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. It's a really cool book. It's uh, like a, uh, basically a coffee table book talking about Lego architecture. It uses uh, models of all kinds of uh, historical buildings made out of Lego, and then there's instructions showing you how to build them. Very cool book. You can pick one up from nostarch.com, or you can stop by the Brickmania store at the Mall of America and get your hands on one. Um, also, I want to shout out to uh, Baron Von Games and Fly Daily for your speed builds that you've done on YouTube. They're really cool. Keep it up. Uh, hopefully, we'll see more in the future. All right, our next segment is the new releases this week from Brickmania. So, the number one new release is the Type 97 Shinhoto Chaiha medium tank. This is the main medium tank used by the Japanese Army during World War II. Uh, it has the usual features you'd expect from a Brickmania tank, rotating turret, uh, opening hatches. Um, it features uh, smooth rolling Brickmania track links. Of course, I dropped the guy off. Smooth rolling Brickmania track links. In this case, it's brown, which you've never used in a kit before. It has a custom printed Imperial Japanese Army tank commander. He actually has a prototype, proto Nambu pistol from Brick Arms. So it's kind of a spare, you know, a rare uh, special add on for this kit. And uh, they're going to do a promo. We're putting together a promo this week where if you order them by Sunday, you'll get a bonus. Um, Imperial Japanese Trooper uh, free. He has a Type 100 uh, submachine gun, netted helmet. He's pretty cool in himself, and you'll get him free if you order within, you know, by Sunday, next five days. Uh, the next uh, new release is a... It's another de decal design from Roglan's Customs. It's the World War II Russian Paratrooper set, decal set. Um, this decal set is for one complete minifigure, so he's basically wrapped all the way around you're going to get one big decal. You'll have to uh, cut it out, put it on. Um, the subject of this one is the, the Amoeba uh, camouflage print. The Amoeba camouflage was used by special forces, by mechanized infantry, basically from 1942 on and off through the rest of the war. Um, the camo works well. It's one of those things that they used for throughout the seasons. So you could put it on different colors and it would be appropriate for the season. White, tan, green, etc. Uh, the next one is the Megaton Edition uh, 101st Airborne Soldier. He is a custom printed figure designed by our own Lando. He has the 101st Airborne Screaming Eagle patch. Um, it also has a custom netted helmet put together by a Brickmania team. We are almost out of this, uh, this figure. This is our custom printed uh, Airborne figure. When they're gone, they're gone. We're not making any more. So get them while they last. Another new release this week is a new product, actually, that we're stocking. They are the Fabiox minifigure display boxes. These are something that uh, some of our LEGO fan friends in Italy put together. They're LEGO-compatible clear boxes designed for your minifigures. They come in two sizes. This is a 6x6 for figures, small mini dioramas, or a 4x4 that basically will fit just one figure in it. They are stackable. They do not come with a base plate. They fit on either a 6x6 or a 4x4 plate which uh, I think we'll be able to sell as an add-on if you buy them on our website. Uh, but they will stack on each other. You won't need any extra plates for that. They look great. They come in, the, the six by six come in boxes of four, the four by four come in boxes of eight. Uh, those are new. We've seen them at shows in the past. They've been kind of hard to get, so we decided we're gonna become an importer and start getting them ourselves, get them out to people like us who happen to collect lots of figures. And lastly, we just have a surprise announcement from Brick Arms that the Brick Arms Carrier Vests, we knew they were in the pipeline for a while, but we didn't have a release date until now. We know they're here. Um, it's a basically another vest for Brick Arms, but this one is the armored uh, uh, version. So it comes in five designs, perfect body armor for your modern figures, something we've all been waiting for. Today on the History segment, we're gonna talk about the IS-2 Heavy Tank. The 
The IS-2 was a heavy tank developed in the Soviet Union in the waning years of World War II. It was a direct descendant of the earlier KV-1 heavy tank program and was intended to correct deficiencies in armor, layout, mobility, and firepower. The IS-2's thick frontal armor was designed as a defense against the powerful guns of the German Tiger and Panther tanks, while its own main gun could defeat its opposition at normal combat ranges of about 1,000 yards. The IS-2 was primarily to be used as a breakthrough tank, and its gun was provided with a powerful high explosive shells useful for knocking out enemy infantry and fortifications. The IS-2 was first introduced to frontline units in April 1944. It was issued to special elite guards brigades who were called upon to clear out strong points or heavy pockets of enemy resistance. Once the defending fortifications and enemy armor was defeated, faster tanks such as the T-34 could then exploit the breakthrough. No less than three full battalions of IS-2s were committed during the climatic battle of Berlin, where they were supported by assault infantry, sappers, and flamethrower teams. The IS-2 was instrumental in reducing enemy resistance by using its powerful main gun to destroy entire buildings. And lastly, we'll talk about the specials happening this week at Brickmania. We have a modern theme going on. First is a decal special, buy one, get one special with Roglin's Customs. We have the modern Combat Squad Pack, Modern Combat O2 Squad Pack, Insurgent Squad Pack, 141 Squad Pack, and Zombie Infestation Squad Pack. Each squad pack is enough decals for five figures. You will get 10 for the price of five. And I should add that the Zombie Infestation and the 141 are actually on sale this week, so you'll actually get a special value on those. We also have a modern uh, bulk special on the brick arms this week. Um, so if you buy 10 of any of, the, any of these items, you'll get 10% off. By 20, you'll get 20% off. They are the Modern Combat Helmet, MCH, the AK, the M16 AGL, and the Combat Shotgun. Those are all uh, bulk discounts. It's the usual. Buy 10, get 10% off. Buy 20, get 20% off. Uh, and lastly, we're still going to do this week, if you buy the new Type 97 tank, you will get the extra Imperial Japanese Army Trooper with it for free. If you order by Sunday or while supplies last, we've been noticing that our specials have been selling out before Sunday, so get on that as quick as possible. Um, I guess thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Episode 7 of Brickmania TV. Um, we are open daily at the Mall of America, third floor, and 24 hours a day at brickmania.com. Thank you and see you next week. Brickmania Toy Works is the ultimate destination for the Lego enthusiasts of all ages. Our Northeast Minneapolis warehouse is home to a massive working Lego train displays, the world's largest Kinex ball machine, and historic displays by the Brickmania team. We also feature a stay and play area, birthday party spaces, and a store filled with products from Lego, Brickmania, Brick Arms, and more. We are only open to the public on the second Saturday of each month, so make sure to mark your calendar and plan ahead. Admission is just $5 a person, $10 for a family of four, and kids three and under are free. Follow the link for more information. The next open house is this Saturday, October 10th. So today on Brickmania TV, <laughs> episode seven, Brickmania saves a squirrel. The squirrel is living in this house. This has to be demolished. So we're gonna move the squirrel. Fly me free, my little friend. <laughs> oh, no. Hey! Hey, I'm Ben Siskin. Use coupon code SQUIRREL5 for 5% off your order. I am in a glass snow case. Well, I can't talk. So, what's it called? It's a plastic glass snow case. It's a snow case. Happy money. Eep, eep, eep.